Hello friends, welcome into the Truth Serum, Joey the Truth Wagner with you. It's about that time yet again. Another week, another game in the NFL, and this one is a biggie. Game preview show for the Steelers and the Chiefs this week. This is a national game, as the Pittsburgh Steelers and Kansas City Chiefs are going head-to-head -head at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's a 425 kickoff. It's the national game on CBS. And it is going to be quite the matchup against a 3-2 Pittsburgh team leading the AFC North against the 5-0 undefeated, only undefeated team remaining in the National Football League, Kansas City Chiefs. There's a lot of different storylines going along in this one, friends. The first one, will Pittsburgh bounce back? A week ago, the Steelers had one of their most embarrassing losses in years at Heinz Field, losing 30-9 to to Jacksonville, letting Leonard Fournette run free for 181 yards and two touchdowns. Ben Roethlisberger also with a career-worst five interceptions, two of them returned for pick sixes. Second storyline, will the Chiefs continue to lead the AFC? They've been unstoppable so far. They have beaten the Patriots in New England. They've beaten Houston in Houston. They've beaten a very good Philadelphia team in KC. They've also beaten Washington at home as well. Will they be able to keep this up? They're on a short week and this is the third week in a row in which they're on the national stage. So we'll see if they can hold and this folks, one Kansas up. Kansas City it will be interesting to see if they're able to keep this run up to start the years. They have a lot of key injuries right now. Many of them, uh, their pass rushing linebacker Justin Houston has not practiced at all this week. He's out with a calf injury. Also, their tight end Travis Kelsey, he's currently in the concussion protocol. Another one of their wide receivers, Chris Conley, has not practiced out with what looks to be a serious Achilles injury. Also, Tyreek Hill, their most explosive offensive star, battling day-to-day, -day, limited in practice with a lower body injury, hamstring, or a knee. So those injuries to these stars could impact how Kansas City plays this week. And now, friends, it's time for the key matchup of the game. And the key matchup this week is Kansas City's running back, Kareem Hunt. It's him against the Steelers' run defense and their front seven. That's the matchup that could turn Pittsburgh into winners or blow this thing out of the water in the Chiefs' favor. Kareem Hunt is currently leading the NFL, the third-round rookie out of Toledo. Holy Toledo, what a year he's had. He's leading all running backs in the NFL with 609 yards this season and four rushing touchdowns. The Pittsburgh defense this year hasn't been able to stop the run. They're the fifth worst defense against the run in the league this year. They've allowed over 200 yards rushing to the Bears. They've allowed over 200 yards rushing a week ago to Jacksonville. They can't stop the run. They're the best pass defense, but they can't stop the run worth a lick. And if they, if they have difficulties with the running game on Sunday, the Steelers are going to be staring down the barrel of a 3-3 three and three record in the AFC. And you can basically flush any type of home field advantage or first round buy down. They are the very good clubs. And it is time for game prediction time here. The Chiefs, they're at home, they're in Arrowhead. They are very tough to beat at Arrowhead, even though the Steelers did it last season in the playoffs on six Boswell field goals to win that one 18 16. For Sunday's game, I'm going with Kansas City by one point. 
Kansas City 27, Pittsburgh 26. It'll be an extremely close one. I feel that the Steelers will bounce back from their rough outing a week ago. The Steelers have a, ten have a tendency to bounce back from bad efforts and the play up to their opponents. On Sunday, they're playing up, and they'll play up to the Chiefs, the best team in the league right now. So I feel they'll come very close to winning, but fall one point short. Also, coaching in this game, huge, huge advantage for the Chiefs and Andy Reid. Andy Reid's coaching on Sunday is going to run circles around Mike Tomlin, who can't clock manage and game plan worth a lick. I mean, the Steelers a week ago threw the ball 55 times against the, against the best pass defense in Jacksonville in the league. And they expected to come out with something different than five in, in, in interceptions. So advantage Kansas City, home field, coaching, running game with Kareem Hunt. Also, Alex Smith isn't too shabby himself. Third in passing this season in the NFL, 1,391 yards, 11 touchdowns. No interceptions. Kansas City by a point. That's my thoughts on the game this week. Folks, as always, please feel free to leave your comments about the game and what you think will happen down in the comments section. Also, like this video and share it to all of your friends and family, wives and kids. Show it to them. Show them the truth. Also, subscribe to the channel too. As I am closing in on not only a thousand subscribers for the channel, but a thousand total videos as well. Steelers and Chiefs kick off at 425 on Sunday. Don't forget to stop right back here for the game highlights after the game on Sunday. For the rest of the great crew, Joey the Truth Wagner signing off. Thank you for watching, and good night.